You nine tone with the most underrated niggas in rap. Young SK, El Hefe, nigga, we back. See, I'm bigger than them niggas trying to figure me out. Not this money, but respect, that's what this shit be about. Still got to keep that paper, they forget you without. Getting paid off this real game that come out my mouth. I keep a pocket full of profit. The most, like, creative I've ever been, I'm always in my element, you know what I mean? Like, sitting right here or being around the cats that I've been around my whole, you know what I mean, my whole life for the most part. So it's like I wanted to make sure that we keep that feel, to make sure that we're making the best music, the best shit's going on. I wanted my son to be brought up in that same environment that I come up in, if not to be a little bit easier on him, you know what I'm saying? So you actually got a guy in here, my pops wasn't around, so it's like, you know what I mean? I want that nigga to grow up in the shit, but actually have somebody that I speak to him on, like, what's going on. So I think that was, like, my most, like, I think it's just, like, you don't want to walk away from that kind of shit, you know what I mean? It's like, niggas, was, niggas is still here. I'm oh. still, I'm still touching. What up? Man. <laughs> Sound like some shit I play right down Manchester or something. In Darby Park, this, this is where, you know what I mean, if you're an Inglewood kid, this is where you grow up at. Mm -hmm. This is where we hoop. This is where, you know what I mean, you come through, kick it. Niggas would be here damn near all day. Like my moms, my moms wouldn't get on until like probably like seven, eight o'clock. So I'd be you know, majority of I mean, the time here. Yeah, we get out of school by like two, two o'clock, two thirty. Be right back here. What drew you to the park? What drew you to come here? Really, because my mom used to always say like bad shit would go on up here, so it'd be like you couldn't go up there. And, you know, the minute I was allowed to ride that bike off the block, you want to because yeah, <laughs> you were not. I made my way straight to this motherfucker. What were like the beginnings of you and like Sox Gang? Like how did you guys like like kind of meet up or kind of just like know that y'all were gonna roll with each other? My brother Sire was the one that started it, you know what I mean? And he was doing the whole like, he was rapping at the time. And um, he was just like, you know, the kid. And I was like young, but I would be like at every like rap kind of anything, I'd be at that motherfucker. Be here, like niggas would be like rapping. I was when I was a kid, and I just go like every time, like for hours. You know what I'm saying? We could do this shit all day. Cock if rap slow up, the niggas here is headed for them pots. I holler whip it till I'm sweating. Pray I never block the blessing. Cut the microphones on and start releasing my aggression. Used to cleaning weapons in my grandmama back house. A nice place with cameras whenever backing out. I'm having changes. Young nigga used to having things. And haters with death wishes promise we get that arranged. If I wanted to rap with niggas all day long, like, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And he would always, like, notice that shit, like, you know what I'm saying? Can't nobody really, like, come up with shit quicker than niggas come up with, like, you know what I'm saying? It is what it You're is. You're quick. Yeah, so I'm like, you know what I mean? It's like, that shit is crazy. And he used to always say that, like, you know what I'm saying? The work ethic was there, like, the personality was there, niggas was just cool, so he was like, we was gonna build this, you know what I mean, movement and the same niggas that's coming from the street, we gonna give them a reason to feel like, you know what I'm saying, they gonna be a part of something that's important. Where the niggas that are still for you, kill for you? Who gonna be there whether you rich or if you broke? I'm just asking where your real ones at? That been there from day one, to stay down ain't changed nothing. Do you feel that now that, like, more eyes and ears are on you, whether it be like labels or it be other bigger artists or somebody like, do you feel like you're guarded now to like, yo, why are y'all fucking with me so hard? Not even so hard because you have the talent, right. but it's just kind of like, you don't want to get, you don't want to be that one that gets like fucked over in the end. Right, I don't think, I never really like look at it like that. You know what I'm saying? I really just look at it like cool, everybody. Like, you know what I'm saying? I like being recognized for some shit that I've right. been working for, so it's like, cool, we'll take it all in stride. And I got guys around me that keep me grounded, you know what I'm saying? Also, like, don't just bite, you know what I'm saying? Like, let's figure out what they really trying to do. Like, let's holler at them on a, like, mature level. Like, niggas ain't finna just be like, oh, we wanna make music. When it comes to music, where does Scheme see his place in, in music, in hip hop, and just with the times of our history in hip hop? What's been done before, what's getting going on now, and what you see coming? I see, like I, I, like, I always look at it like like the L.A. scene right now is like that, that 96 era of niggas, you know what I'm saying? Like mm -hmm. that, that golden age of hip-hop where it was just like niggas was comfortable making the kind of music that was supposed to be made as an artist, you know what I'm saying? Right. That's what I was on. I'm like, let's, let's do that, you know what I mean? Like, I'm glad that it's like four and five guys that feel the same way I feel about this shit, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Make good-ass raps, make songs that aren't like... You know what I mean? Corny, like, let's make records that are, like, big enough to be compared with shit that's gonna be listened to 10 years from now, you know what I'm saying? I love that about right now, because I feel like right now is, like, the most opportunity spot for people that actually got something to say, you know what I'm saying? 
Right. Like compared to like a J. Cole or like a, you know what I mean? Right. Wale, uh, Kendrick, you know what I'm saying? All of these guys that's really like speaking about something that they actually like doing and going mm -hmm. through. It's not like a fake until you make it type position. Like, nah, let's do it. Like, right. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's what I love about this era right now. Most of these rappers, they move gently, but I still leave one in the head and squeeze till it's empty. I lost my mind, big brother just lost the Bentley. I earned stripes while these other rappers all were saying, give me. The unofficial fifth member from Black Hippie in a scope showed me interest, but them numbers wasn't jiggy. Oh Lord, now who you came with? Never been on no lame shit. Ride for my niggas, you won't, then watch your lane switch. See, me and Weez made this million dollar plan and was dressing like Poe and Rich, just left from Dapper Dan's, huh? It's pure dedication. First class with champagne, elevation. I'm knowing that success bring hella haters. And so we steer clear in them U rows. That's ING Uno, the illest nigga that you know. When it come to game, I'm kicking it like judo. I really lit the shit I spit knowing that you don't. And still feel that ignorant bliss loading that 2 4. And that was just the intro. Like when I first heard the, um, the beat, that shit was mad, like massive and shit. I was riding in the car and I stopped the car like. Cause I play my shit off the Bluetooth. I stopped the car and like made Wayne drive so I could write and shit. But that shit was crazy. Like it just felt like was... an intro. Like you know what I'm saying? Like this is what we needed. It's crazy how like all of that shit lines up like that mm -hmm. for that one to like come to our lap like that. It was crazy. And then sets the tone for it. Yeah, yeah. The how rest to do it. it? Exactly for how to do this motherfucker. Like this is how you start out. But I think from like pistols to now, like the intro is always like. We gotta have the intro. Oh, you got to. I know real niggas ain't perfect. Perfect niggas ain't real. So I just keep my cash right and say, fuck, I hate it's gonna fail. Cause I know real niggas ain't perfect. I always see just how the West supports each other. It each is there. Like, it's kind of like we know it's a competition. We all want to be top dog. Right. But at the end of the day, seeing each other win, yeah. is if it's a really great feeling. Because yeah. y'all came up together. Exactly. I was just going to say that. I think, like, organically, niggas really fucked with each other from the gate. So mm -hmm. it's not like, you know what I'm saying, oh, Kendrick got his position, and now let's mm -hmm. go fuck with him. Like, nah, we niggas been knowing each other for a long motherfucking time, you know right. what I'm saying? This when no was one was like, looking. Exactly, yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And it was just like, like I said, make good-ass music back then, and it's still the same, you know what I'm saying? It's still the same idea. It's just now we got budgets and shit to do it <laughs> with, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, cool. But like, even I would see Nip on like random like moments out somewhere, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And he asked me like, did I have a blunt? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, this is the shit we would go through. Me and Don were politics. I remember seeing him the first time we ever worked together. He was telling me about it. I'll never forget. He probably don't remember this shit, but we was at the Roosevelt Hotel at a pool party. And um, we had did like a freestyle. It was me, him, and Naomi Reese over um, over the ice cream paint job beat. And he put it on the best <laughs> after Bobby mixtape. And I'll never forget him telling me that day, like, nigga, I got one that you gonna fuck with, you feel me? And I'll never forget his first line was like, Rich Bro, let juggle to the ass ice. Coming up out here, everybody had to catch face. That was the that was the shit. That nigga said something right, right after that's like I was here before Smokey and Jody. I was like, hey, this nigga going on fucking with it. Uh, that shit was the like Dom is like the embodiment and just like the chill LA nigga, you yep. know what I'm saying? So it's like cool. But that like, you know, all of them moments is just like, you know what I'm saying? Them is little you know, pieces of my memories and shit, like coming up in the shit, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. That shit is dope as hell. We just got that mindset that we just not gonna quit, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. or like just stop. It's like niggas just gonna make, like keep rocking, keep making music, stay in it, you know what I'm saying? You, you gaining like some kind of leverage, obviously, if the people are feeling like, you know what I'm saying? Like you're important enough to wanna like, you know what I mean, gravitate towards your music or listen to what you got to say. Mm -hmm. Every time it gradually goes up, whether it takes like 10,000 more people listening to your shit mm -hmm. or like, 25 like either way it goes if it's still like progressing every time it's like something might be there you know what i'm saying right and all it takes is a little bit of a push for you to go like to the next level you know what i'm saying well, i've been waiting for this moment <laughs> and it's just dope for it to happen and just as a fan i've been yeah, waiting yeah. and Thank then you, you want to see these stars shine and you're definitely yeah. shining man we're working like a motherfucker but hell yeah like you know that's a that's a beautiful moment for us you know what i'm saying for everything to line up the way it did, like to end out the year strong like we is right now, and you know what I'm saying? That day gonna be big, not only for me, but like for the city in general right. and shit, that's gonna be dope. You know real niggas ain't perfect. Said I know real niggas ain't perfect. Perfect niggas ain't real. So I just keep my cash right and say fuck, I hate it's gonna fail. Cause I know real niggas ain't perfect.